us. Hey Patrick and Veronica, I recently bought a Western Digital TV Live and thought that I would now be able to watch all my favorite Revision 3 shows on the big screen, but this wasn't the case. Although it does play and the sound is fine, the video is high speed. Is H.264 an unsupported file format? Is there anything I can do like remuxing or will a later firmware update fix this? Many thanks, Jamie in Somerset, UK. So there's no technical reason uh, that video should be stuttering and playing weird. However, um, I called up Heron and I had him loud because I'd seen other video we do playing just fine on the box, mm -hmm. but the, the highest the high def format we do, the 720p format, 30 frames per second, is stuttering and glitching. Hmm. So I have now typed out an email to our engineering department, who are hopefully going to check the format against that, and hopefully it's something that's on the firmware end of the WDTV Live, which is a shame, because I happen to really like that box, and not something with our encode. And you mentioned that some people, it's kind of funny, like you mentioned in the forums. Yeah, I, I read something about uh, H.264 that has been causing some of these weird sync issues right. or, or issues where the video is playing a lot faster than the audio is. And uh, some people have been running it back through FFmpeg and that solves the problem, but that's right. like way too many steps. It, mm -hmm. it should play natively out of the box because it supports that file format. Yeah, and that's, I mean, it, one, I don't want anybody to have to run anything through post process unless you're putting it to some weird, you know, box for, of Doom that requires a reencode, but first, it's and it's, it's one of the frustrating things about video specs is a lot of times like tool A will create video that's up to the spec, but a whole bunch of boxes won't eat it the way they should either because you know and it's it's frustrating because then you have to figure out what it's right. doing. <laughs> so. I'm going to, like I said, you know, emails out. We're going to talk to our engineering department so we can figure out what's going on. i got to say, if you haven't seen the WDTV Live, it's a really nice box. It's the follow-up to one of the best set-top boxes from last year, the WDTV. The original WDTV had one big flaw. It only played video from a USB hard drive. WDTV Live corrects that by adding an Ethernet jack. It's a really nice set-top HD box, although it does do SD video also. It's compact, nice remote, tons of formats. AVI, XFID, AVC, MPEG-1, 2, and 4, uh, MPG, MPEG, VOB, <laughs> basically like all the wrappers, all the encoding, VC1, um, WMV9. It won't do ISO files, but uh, pretty much everything else. FLAC it supports. MP3, WAV, <laughs> yeah, Dolby I mean, Digital. Um, it's, it's basically easy setup, DLNA compatible. There definitely is uh, it, the, the interface is nice because a lot of the set, especially like the you know the middle of two thousand eight, you were looking at set top boxes and it was like hit the button and wait thirty seconds. Um, yeah. This one's clean and fast. It's speedy. Not the best upscaling we've seen on standard def to ten eighty p, which is a little frustrating because there doesn't seem to be a native output option. So we're going to double check it against some other monitors, but it seems like it'll only do 1080p out if it's set to 1080p out, which means it wants to do the scaling. And in some cases, I think the TV does better scaling than the WDTV Live. Um, Oh yeah, it also supports Flickr and Pandora, but it doesn't do those premium protected content like movies from the iTunes Music Store or, or Amazon Unbox, Cinema Now, Movie Link, Von Go. But fortunately, there are plenty of yeah. set-top boxes if you're really invested in one of those services that do those. Right. Um, but yeah, we're, we're working on it. We'll try to figure out what's going on. It's really frustrating because uh, other than that, it's a really good box. And yeah, yeah, that's definitely, if you want to do Netflix and the video on demand and the voodoo, this is not your box. You have options yes. out there already.